Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a preview of the all new red copy, and I mean all red copy of the Pulsar X2. I have one in medium that is on my desk right now that I've already taken out of the box. I have not yet taken the small out of the box. I will do that for you guys in real time in this video and go over my thoughts about the build quality and how it differs from the original batch in black. Personally, I have not had any real issues at all with the build quality of my Pulsar. I happen to really enjoy it. I probably use it for at least 20 hours a week still today, and I still think it's probably one of the best releases this year in terms of shape and performance, but let's get into it. So one thing I do want to reiterate on my Pulsar X2, this is a copy that I bought myself blind on lethalgaminggear.com. I've never experienced a build quality issue on my Pulsar X2, and this is, I believe, a batch two. It's not the original batch, and I just don't have any build quality issues. I have no side flex um, of any note on mouse one and mouse two. I have no double clicking on my KL 8.0s on mouse one and mouse two, and I don't have any of the squeaky clicking that people reported on either mouse one or mouse two. And all of my buttons feel very good. Mouse one is pretty responsive and very tactile and crispy. Mouse 4 and Mouse 5, likewise, I maybe have a little bit of post-travel on Mouse 5 and Mouse 4, but it, an experience that overall comes together and just feels extremely good in both Apex, Valorant, Overwatch. Everything I throw at this, and I've beat the heck out of this mouse, everything I said in my original review about this being a potential mouse of the year or my mouse pick of the year, still pretty much rings true. I think it competes very well against all of the mice that have come after it. I know we still have a few more mice releasing by the end of the year, so it's going to be a little bit of a toss-up, whether or not the Sora, the Extrify mouse that's coming out, if anything can kind of overtake some of the mice in my top three right now, which I'm still kind of deciding which one's going to be my number one pick of the year. Uh, but the Pulsar X2, to me, still remains a damn good contender. Now, how does the mouse compare to the red copy out of the box? I can definitely say there are a few noticeable things with the red copy out of the box. The weight of the mouse feels a little bit heavier in the butt of the mouse and you can kind of feel it compared to the original the original to me feels a little bit tiny tiny bit lighter the texture of the red coating i can't really tell if it's any different in any significant way compared to the black but it does feel very good mouse one and mouse two i think are one of the biggest changes compared to the original with its build quality my original mouse clicks feel extremely good, very responsive, very poppy, and you can hear them. There's just a little bit of an inconsistency with my left click and my right click. On the new Pulsar X2, I'd say the Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 are even more responsive and tactile feeling than my original, and just more poppy and a lot more consistent. You can hear Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 are just very consistent across the board. I've also noticed that the encoder, the scroll wheel, actually feels a little more, just a better build quality feeling on the scroll wheel when you are kind of aggressively scrolling up and down. It actually does feel better and a little bit more uh, tactile feedback on the new copy compared to a lighter scroll on the black. And again, I don't know if this is gonna be consistent across the line, um, but this is just what I feel on my particular copy after taking it out of the box. Like Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 that feel a little bit better on my red copy compared to my black copy, the side buttons actually feel better as well. The pre and post travel are not as significant as my black copy. And these are just minute little changes because, again, my black copy feels very good, but definitely better on this red copy. Everything just feels like a very tight, refined package on this particular red copy. So anybody who was kind of put off by build quality issues, Again, I can't say if it's going to be consistent like my red copy here, uh, but my red copy feels extremely good, like a very well put together mouse, like something you would expect from Logitech or Razer. If you are not somebody who's a fan of the Pulsar X2 shape, you probably shouldn't even be watching this video. But if you do like the shape of the Pulsar X2, you like the weight, you play very good on it. If you're a fan of all red, the mouse definitely hits it in terms of literally just being covered in red. I would have liked to have seen maybe some black accents, maybe a black stripe through the middle and then a black scroll and black side buttons or white. 
Um, I think something kind of offsetting just the all red would have been kind of cool. Uh, but we really haven't had an all red mouse with red accents on the side buttons and the scroll wheel. So it's pretty cool. The only area of white on the mouse is going to be on the PCB as well as the mouse gates. All right, I told you guys I was going to unbox my copy of the small. Literally give you guys my feedback as I am testing the mouse right out of the box. And just so you guys know, again, it, it is still Kale 8.0s. They haven't changed the switches. And it is still a TTC Gold encoder on the scroll wheel. I do just want to let you guys know, again, it just feels like a little bit more of a refined experience on my medium compared to my black medium. So taking this out of the box, you guys can see, of course, again, you do get a um, nice little unboxing from Pulsar. I mean, their, their packaging is pretty on point. You get, um, I believe in here is just the cable, and then you do have the USB receiver in here. So actually a pretty cool package. I think everything is pretty well put together and looks pretty damn cool. But when you get to the overall build quality of the mouse, oh damn. Um, so this actually feels already pretty damn good. Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 feel great, very responsive and poppy. I would say my Mouse 1 feels a little bit inconsistent compared to mouse 2. You can almost feel or hear that mouse 2 gets a little bit higher pitched than my mouse 1. I have no switch grinding of mouse 1 and mouse 2. The scroll wheel feels actually still the same as my medium. Feels awesome uh, with that TTC gold encoder. Mouse 3 very spammable. Side buttons feel no pre-travel that I can really generate on mouse four, no post-travel, and mouse five is actually the same. So the side buttons are definitely better on this copy than my uh, pre-production sample that I had in white. Definitely a very nice well put together package. This is actually feeling pretty good and I think I might have to uh, get some stream time on the Pulsar Small. This is a pretty awesome looking mouse for this size. You guys can get a full size comparison on the channel in my other videos between the small and the medium. Over time, I can definitely say the medium is definitely the better fit for me. I have fun on the small. I'm just a little bit more comfortable with long-term use on the medium. I play roughly the same on both, a little bit more aggressive with some of my angles on the small, um, but I think again, more consistent on the medium. So I'm gonna stick with the medium as one of my main picks. Uh, but again, the small is pretty damn fun to swap to every once in a while. And this copy, again, feels solid. So guys, that is it for this video. I really do hope that if you order the mouse, you get build quality as good as what I have here because everything just feels very refined and even better than my batch 2 copy in black. I really like the Pulsar X2. And as, as a reviewer, I hope that when I recommend something, it gets to you in the utmost perfect build quality so that you can enjoy in the same experience that I am trying to convey in the video. If you guys order a red copy or you order the green copy, I hope that the build quality is, is as good as what I have in my hand because it really is an enjoyable experience. I hope that helped, guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.